A big thank you to everyone who supported this channel as we celebrate 666 subscribers with the occult film The Ninth Gate. Who Was the Girl? A video that is still reaching new viewership records nine months after it was published. Today, we're going to go over your theories. Not mine, not the scripts, not what Roman Polanski may have said on a commentary track somewhere. These theories belong to you, as written in the comments section. Here are the five fan theories from the viewers. Who was the girl with the green eyes? The Ninth Gate, directed by Roman Polanski, was released in 1999 and loosely based on the novel The Club Dumas, written by Arturo Perez Reverti. Number 5. A Witch Sure, it's a film about the occult. There's a coven after all. The girl is mysterious and possesses subtle supernatural abilities, like soaring through the air, but without the broom. In his lecture about demons and medieval literature, Boris Balkan mentions witches the very moment the girl is centered by the camera. Balkan continues his definition of a witch, including someone cognizant with the laws of God endeavors to act through the medium of the pact with the devil. But it is Liana Telfer who leads a coven and is pointed out as a witch by Baroness Kessler. Liana's sidekick, the man with the cropped platinum blonde hair, with his cat-like skills of stealth and surprise. Perhaps he is not only Liana's bodyguard, but the witch's familiar. What makes this most interesting is that Balkan mentions the witch's use of familiars in his lecture, words that are in the film, but not in the script I read from. Could it be that the girl comes from another coven, more in tune with the devil's plan, than those pretenders in silk robes? Number 4. A Demon the Succubus Right out of our mythology and folklore, the succubus is a demonic figure, female in form, they seduce with their wicked beauty, needing only the slightest touch. Descriptions of the infamous succubi have been unchanged since medieval times, the medieval times that Boris Balkan speaks of early in the film. Because they are immortals, they spend their lives wandering the earth, traveling from one land to another to find men worthy of their attention. Still, they require constant training, honing their power of persuasion, fine-tuning their skills to the men, modern at the time. The demonic background also gives them demonic abilities, whether it is super strength, combat skills, or precognition. However, the motivations of a succubus has long been debated since the Middle Ages, whether their seductions were for reproduction, everlasting life, or other nefarious reasons. The folklore is well represented as saliciously revealed in the end. Number 3. Lilith One of the more interesting fan theories is that the girl was Lilith. Hebrew texts and related folklore describe Lilith as Adam's first wife, created out of clay or mud the same time as he. From the early ages of civilization, her myth grew in prominence during the Middle Ages, a period of history Balkan is very well studied. But Lilith isn't the cooperative type. She spends her immortal life stealing babies and finding jealousy when couples bear children. She uses her seductive nature to lure men. Like a demon, she too is immortal. Hellenistic texts portray Lilith anything but docile, as her place is at the top. Maybe she's closer to Lilith than what we gave her credit for. Number 2. The Harlot of Babylon Out of the Book of Revelation comes a woman who represents hedonism and everything sinful. She is associated with a many-horned beast that will make an appearance during the end of days. But why does she make an appearance? Why is she aiding Corso's book detective work? Could it be that she needs to find someone worthy enough to open the ninth gate? Is this the beginning of the end? In many interpretations, the harlot is described wearing elaborate clothes with ornate jewelry. This does not describe the girl other than, like the harlot, has walked the earth a very long time and have seen the evils humanity will do. The harlot has been seen many times over the ages. She will show up unexpectedly then disappear, only to return elsewhere 
in between years, decades, or centuries. Maybe this is the reason she disappeared from the station, leaving Corso alone with only a clue. Will he find her on the other side of the gate? After all, she is known as the mother of all harlots and of all abominations of the world. Before we get to number one, like, share, or subscribe if you enjoy this content and like to see more videos like this one. Your support to help get this channel to 1,000 subs is well appreciated. Number one, the devil herself. The most vocal theory of theories is that the girl was Lucifer. After all, the devil is seductive, will appear beautiful in the eyes of others if it suits him or her. The devil is persuasive, will find time to study if it gives benefit. The devil is manipulative, giving suggestions, making the intended victim believe it was their idea all along. Appearing in female form is not out of the ordinary. Considering he may appear in many forms, why not a woman? In the French novel The Devil in Love, published in 1772, written by Jacques Cazat, Satan posed as a woman, falls in love with a young nobleman. The Ninth Gate is described as a partial adaptation of that work. Are there other clues that the girl is the falling angel Lucifer? She is seen flying like an angel twice, but she can only fall to earth. Let me know in the comments below, what was your favorite fan theory? Or do you have one yourself not on the list? This is Mr. G of Synergy saying, The devil's greatest trick is deceiving us he doesn't exist. Check out other videos on the channel. Thanks for watching.